what are some of the elements of SOPs? What are in all SOPs? On Friday, the Education Ministry announced introduction of the competence-based curriculum for lower secondary schools learners. Yeah. The development ahead of Monday reopening. Newly admitted senior one are the new the second cohort that is going to use the revised curriculum. Six meter textbooks will be distributed across the country to back up the curriculum for S1 and S2. Emily Chitomwaka, a teacher from Our Lady of Good Council in Gayaza, calls it a turning point on student output. I've had very many of our children go to university and they graduate. But they lack the 21st century skills that child cannot think. This curriculum is going to help our learners creatively think, solve problems, communicate, and it is a rich menu where every child's potential will be tapped. It is the way to go. Mwaka reveals how the curriculum will be embedded into the system. It is very practical. It's not expensive like many people think. It, it integrates ICT, yes, we know. And people are saying our schools may not have these facilities. But the bottom line is it calls for creativity and innovativeness. It is applicable. It is easily, it, it can be implemented in all schools. The president of the People's Development Party, Dr. Abedi Bwanika, is, however, concerned of staffing gaps. I have a curriculum that is going to provide for acceleration, but also for performance. We have not increased in terms of infrastructure for schools. We have not improved in terms of the numbers of teachers to student ratios. So I don't see how we are going to implement this curriculum where a student does not fail. We are bound to be affected by the effects in the next 10, 15 years. Uh, Ugandans must prepare for that. The curriculum will be enrolled in 5,502 secondary schools, 3,956 of these private schools, 1,179 government schools, and 367 community secondary schools. Simon Chris Makanga, CTV, PM Edition. Yeah.